Chloe sitting behind my chair. Do you see her? I can't see her now. Hello and welcome to our fancy new filming area. We're trying out a new portion of our backyard. Yeah, um, we set up and then someone started mowing their lawn. Which used to happen every time. But we're not going to let it deter us. It's pretty far away. I don't think it'll be in here. We actually have our old microphone on the camera. We're giving it another test. Every time there's a gust of wind, let's just, let's just take a little easy. break. Yeah. Everyone takes a deep breath. In case we need to cut it out. This might be unusable. We'll see. Now we're using this. I don't care what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, we're going to give our... Warning that we've been giving at the oh beginning gosh. of these videos. Let's just give it. This is our intimacy video. Another intimacy video in our series of intimacy Q&A, intimacy and yes. disability. Friends and family, you do not need to watch this video. That's you, it. All right. Moving you on. will hear things. This is so boring. That may terrify you. This is so boring. You may hear about my Shame. favorite position. No. The Alabama snake rider. Oh my God. God. Can we just, let's just, are we ready? Now you all know, friends and family. Turn it off. Okay, bye. Let's begin. Hello, hello, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. Nope. Okay, I have another announcement. It's very related to this video. We've already done the announcement portion. No, this is another, well, this is just a question that isn't on the list of questions you took out, but I got a message about it this morning, so I just want to You're going road? I'm going road. You're going road. Someone messaged me a very nice message asking, they didn't understand how, because remember last time in our previous video, one of the questions was, does Shane's penis work normally? And yes. we just said yes. We didn't right? give it a lot of detail. We didn't give a lot of detail, but yeah. this person was like, how is that possible because the penis is a muscle? And so I responded to them, and I was like, oh, like, it's actually not a muscle. So I just wanted, in case people don't know, the penis is not a muscle. Yeah. There's no muscle in it. It is solely powered by blood. And I've got flow. blood. I've got plenty of blood. And you've got a heart, so. I've got a heart. I've act I'm and actually slightly overfilled with blood. And organs are not affected by SMA. And also, I'm not overfilled with blood. No, you're I'm not overfilled. I'm afraid I'm going to get messages yeah. like, Wait a minute, you're overfilled. So yeah. I just wanted to put that in because I, I, I told someone that this morning and I thought might as well. Yeah, so that's kind of the science behind yes. why my sexual function is yeah. not affected. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now to the questions that we have selected. I, think we have I have not four. read these. We have four today, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five. We have five. Five. It's a big day for all of you. Five. I haven't read them. I hope I I hope I we'll see if we do all five. If I if I read <laughs> one that I don't like, we might end up doing four. Okay. I'm giving the names. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Scribble Hideout said, I know you get people believing that the two of you couldn't possibly be intimate. Our poor neighbors, I'm dying. But has the opposite ever happened? Like someone being completely grossed out because they've seen you holding hands, kissing, etc. We've never gotten people being grossed, grossed out. out. Not I think, in public. Not, I mean, in the hummus, yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, in public. People are like, why is she with that baby man? That's yeah. disgusting. Um... But in public, I think people will sometimes like stare. Uh -huh. But I've never really seen like a look of disgust. If if anything, people tend to smile and are like extra. Like they'll yeah. be like across the restaurant, they'll be like, uh, you know. And also, we don't like we don't really do public displays of affection. Yeah. Like off, like when we're out on a date, we're not like making out. So yeah. It might be hard for them to even know that we're yeah. a couple. Speaking about public displays of affection, you, at the beginning of our relationship, were a huge baby about PDA. <laughs> I, I tried to like hold your hand in a restaurant and you freaked out. Shane was really uncomfortable with PDA and he's gotten over it. <laughs> I have, yeah. I, I was... mean, we still don't like make out in public, but you were like really weird about anything at all. No, yeah, I don't know. I guess I was just like self-conscious yeah. about... You like, don't want people to look. Any, yeah, any kind of like attention drawing behavior. Yeah. Not that holding, holding hands. Hand, yeah, not that holding hands is that, but like. You're all big baby. I took it too far. Yeah. We got in one big fight about that. It wasn't even a, fight. a fight. I was just, just like, what's a, wrong with you? Yeah. I was like, are you ashamed <laughs> of me? What's wrong with you? Um, one thing that we do often get when someone finds out that we are a couple, they will, all, like, if they've said something weird to us, like, Oh, is that your brother? Yeah. And then Hannah responds, No, that's my fiance. Yeah. Without a doubt, their response is always, Oh! Yeah. Wow! That's amazing! Yeah. Like, 
way in the other direction. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to even it out, and it goes way too far. Uh, yeah, it, and they're just like it's so embarrassing. That's really nice of you. I I've told the story a couple of times, not on our channel, but Shane used to write for his. Uh, town's newspaper, just a couple of, like, a column. You had a column, right, in college? Yeah. And someone who had read that came up to Shane and was like, are you the one who wrote for this newspaper? And Shane was like, yeah. And she she was like, um, is this your cousin or something? Because, yeah. I mean, that's understandable because Sarah, Shane's cousin, and I do look you a little look bit similar, alike. Yeah. I'll, I'll give them that. You're like, both tall and, we're both like, tall, like, like hair. Blonde, yeah. yeah, we look similar. Hey. Um, so she was like, is this your cousin? And Shane was like, no, this is my girlfriend. This is when we were first dating. And the woman... <laughs> uh, came up to me. I was like standing strangely far away. I don't know why I was so far away, but she like walked over to me and with tears in her eyes was like, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Like crying. I began to cry. And I was like, oh man. Like we had just started dating and I was like, is this normal? Like, I was like, get ready, Hannah. This yeah. is going to happen all the time. So stuff like that has happened, but people aren't usually grossed out. Uh, no. You know, maybe inwardly, but they don't say that. I get one common uh, comment that we get that's related to this is we see it all the time. Uh, it's usually men, right? Or, or males. Yeah. I don't know if they're men. They're all probably like 12 years old. Yeah. Um, but they write comments that say something like, this guy, you know, can't walk, can't do anything for himself. And yet I can't even get a text back yeah. from a girl. And I always, I love those comments so much because every time you see someone comment that, you know that's why they don't have a girlfriend yeah, they're because they're an asshole. Yeah, because they're thinking that like, I think that's so simply funny. being able to walk Just existing. Is, is you're, a tr you're a treat for women. Reason enough that women should yeah. be throwing themselves I just love you. those so much. And every single person that's written that, and I then, wish you well. Yeah. I wish you better. So that's kind of related to how people react. If you've ever written a comment that says, why does Shane have a girlfriend and I don't, well, that's why. <laughs> Just so you know. You thinking that that is a good comment is why. Yep, that's why. <laughs> All right, next question. That hey, got really... That was that, really long. That Sorry, had violent, that had violent at the end. Yeah, right? well, it was an attack. <laughs> All right, Hey Hey Squad said, can he still feel in that area? I assume you mean my butt. And yes. Shane does not have any lost feeling. I think that's a common misconception that it like, is, yeah. people who use wheelchairs can't feel their legs, but that's yeah. just a small group of them. When I was in like elementary and middle school, every new friend would be like, So if I like hit your feet, can you feel that? Yeah. I, it's just a, a common it is, misconception. Yeah. I mean, some wheelchair users have lost of feeling. Yeah. Other wheelchair users do not. Yep. I I can feel everything. Yep. All right. Kristen said, "How have you been able to draw a line between affectionate touch and caregiving touch? As Hannah is both a lover and a caregiver for Shane." Good question. We we get that all the time. Yeah. We don't draw a line. Yeah. There is no line. Exactly. R not even imaginary. We just. Yeah. It goes back and forth between the two. You can give your significant other like a high five and, you guys, and that doesn't, yeah. that's not a different relationship than when you're being intimate. Yeah. You know? We don't ever say like, okay, now the caregiving is, is over. Oh yeah. And let's begin the intimate touch. Yeah. Caregiving will involve intimacy. Yeah. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Intimacy will involve caregiving yeah. here and there. Like, I'll be like, hey, Hannah, can you move my leg to the left? Yeah. Like, it, it's all... It's all the same. Intertwined and the same. Yeah, it really is. It and, is hard, it's hard to explain, but I think I think that's a good way of putting it, is that, like, you're not always being intimate with your partner, but you touch them in other ways. Yeah. You know, even if they're not disabled. I think when people ask this, what they mean, because I see it written in different ways, mm -hmm. I think what they mean is, like, when you're helping me use the toilet, uh -huh. like, how do we then also be intimate together? Well, I think that's together? a different question. I know, but I see them written yeah, kind of, like, it's together. A, it's a similar question. And, that, like, obviously, like, when we're doing, like, that charity event, we're not also making out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there are different times yeah. for different things. Yeah. But it doesn't. One but it's doesn't, not like we wait an hour and then it, all of a sudden I can kiss you. You know, you're it's like just, no, no, no. I helped you use the toilet yeah, thirty seven minutes ago. It's really. It's there's not really a line. It's just whatever you feel like doing in the moment. You yep. know. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, really hard to define. Right, right now, I'm ready for intimate touch. Uh, but I'm still on caregiving mode. <laughs> okay. Thankful said, who has the stronger libido, you or Shane, and who initiates more frequently? Do you want to talk about that? I mean... You have the stronger libido. I do. Yeah. Shane has... Well, I think we can just leave it at that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you have this, anything else this, to say? This one toes the line of, like, private. This isn't really disability related. True. I think people assume that people with disabilities don't That's have... That's why Shane put it on the list. ...of libido. Yeah. I do. I have a perfectly healthy... Yeah, libido. maybe even... <laughs> you really want to say that my <laughs> libido is overactive. I'm making a joke. <laughs> About, like, who initiates more, like, we both do, and yeah. it, that's not really... Yeah. That's our own private life, so... Yeah, but well, people with disabilities can have a normal, yep. below average, above that average... I mean, no, there's not even an average. Like, there's a yeah. spectrum, and people with disabilities fall on separately from their disability on whatever <laughs> they are on the spectrum, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, Emma said, Hi, I'm an OT student, and I was wondering if you got the help of a professional, OT or other, of course, to figure some things out about being physically intimate with each other, or did you figure it out on your own? Good question. The, when we went to your, like, what, what, what even is that? Your appointment? My annual checkup. Your annual checkup. She meets with, like, a, a bunch of... My appointment. Doctors <laughs> on one day, yeah. and one of those people is an OT. And she asked us if we needed any tips or like information about being sexually active together. She asked if we were intimate. Yeah. And I was I was caught off guard because no yeah. doctor, no professional has ever asked me that before. Yeah. And I'm twenty eight. Yeah. Um it was the first time last year. We which, put that in the video. Yeah, which is messed up. Yeah. Uh the fact that she asked like really made me happy. Yeah. Um we were too embarrassed. Like No, that was not when embarrassed, you kept, do like, you remember? It was in the video. You kept just like continuing she's like sorry you're intimate and she was like yeah, um, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we, we are, and he just, like, kept going, and I kept, I was just like, Shane, I began Shane. to tell her, like, how rude. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was like, please stop, like, you, you were so caught off guard that you did not know what to do. Anyway, um, I know that there are some disability, like, resources out there yeah. for figuring out intimacy. Yeah. I don't know any and of them. And OT is a great one. The longest airplane in the world. We should have asked her for what what she had available so we could yeah. pass the information on. I know maybe not something we should. We do. were we were too scared. We're a like nope. A little interview. Yeah. But no, we figured every day out. Uh, trial and error and injury. Oh my god, <laughs> injury. No, not really. No. But yeah, we just figured out what worked by testing it and talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was the last question. That flew by. Yep. But that leaves more time for intimacy. Oh so, my God. let's see how. We'll see you next time. The libido is raging. Bye.